Hi guys, uh, my name is Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. So I know that this setting is different. I'm obviously in my car, I'm not like in my room or in my, my dining room like I am for my other videos. But I'm starting something new today and I thought I would just vlog about it, which I've never done before. So um, today I am starting with DoorDash and it's just kind of like a little side hustle. Like I need like gas money and extra stuff like that because I do have another job that I just started a couple weeks ago. Um, but I'm technically like self-employed and it does take a while for, for me to get my feet off the ground. I need like a license from the state of Texas to do what I'm doing, stuff like that, whatever. So um, while I'm waiting for that to start up, I just thought I would like start something like this and I was considering doing like Lyft or Uber or Ride Austin, stuff like that, like rideshare companies, but um, I am 18 and I'm a girl and the world is a scary place. So um, I was just thinking like maybe, maybe that's not the best for me. Like, like having people riding, like strangers riding in my backseat would make me pretty uncomfortable. So DoorDash, for those of you who don't know, it's basically a food delivery service. So. I would be like a pizza delivery person only I could I'm picking up food from places that don't usually deliver like if somebody wanted McDonald's um, they, they would request McDonald's through their app and they would send it to mine and I would either request or deny um, the dash I'd be I'm a dasher now so uh, I would either request or deny it um, depending on how far it is and it also tells me how many items these people want so and I just thought I would take you guys along for the experience with me and I know I'm sorry my steering wheel's in the way um, I'm just like I've never vlogged before so I don't really know how like the setup is gonna work if you guys don't like the setup let me know and I'll try to fix it um, but I do vlog on my I vlog I do record on my phone so it is gonna be a little bit tricky to go like stop recording go to the app and request or deny a a dash and then come back and start recording again but um, I mean it shouldn't be that hard I'm just like lazy also I don't know like the legalities of everything I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about how much I earn or like if I, I'm not a, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about the money side of things so I won't be doing that in this video but if you guys want to see more of me like doing this and more vlog type type more vlog style videos like this then let me know and after I look into it I'll find out if I can um, talk, talk to you guys about like the money side of things so I started dashing at 1130 it's it's only been a couple minutes let me see yeah so I've been I've been sitting here for less than 10 minutes um, and my phone will tell me when I've like got a dash or when somebody's requested something like yesterday I was supposed to dash but things came up so I had to stop I was supposed to dash from 5 p.m. to 6 30 p.m. right now I'm basically just waiting for somebody to request for me to go pick up their food or their groceries whatever it is whenever I get one of those requests I will come back on here tell you guys about the request whatever yada 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 um, like I said, I won't be going into the money side of things right now because I'm not sure if I'm legally allowed to talk about that or if I'm going to get in trouble or whatever. So, um, yeah, I will let you guys know when I get an order. Also, I forgot to tell you guys the reason I started doing DoorDash um, was because somebody here on YouTube, her name is Emily Price, she made a video about her doing DoorDash and I was already looking for something kind of like this. I was considering Lyft and Uber, but like I said, that's kind of scary. Um, for somebody as young as me and who's also a female because like I said the world is crazy um, so she was talking about how she did DoorDash and she actually talked about how much money she made um, I don't know like if there was a process she had to go through to be allowed to talk about that or not um, but if you guys want to see her video she actually goes in depth about how much money she made in a couple of days I think um, so I'll link that video down below if you guys are interested um, so that's kind of why I was, that's kind of why I joined DoorDash. So yeah, in Emily's video, she kind of goes in depth, like she'll show you screen recordings of like her Dasher app and how everything works, um, and how much money she made in a couple of days, I think. And I wish I would have started a week before because last week was South by Southwest. Um, but I signed up I think two weeks ago for DoorDash and they said okay like your activation kit will be here in I think it said one to four days which was really fast but it took a while to get here so um, I think if it had come in a little bit sooner 
I I would have been able to do at least some of South by Southwest, which I feel like would have been really good money. Um, but in that activation kit, they gave me the little red card, what, which I pay for people's meals and stuff with, and they gave me one of those, um, the hot bags to keep their food hot. Um, I thought it was going to come with like a t-shirt or a hat because it showed in the video that that's what they come with. But I think Emily also said in her video that you have to do a certain amount of dashes to get the shirt just to make sure that you're actually, just so they make sure that you're actually serious about doing it. So yeah, that's just the, like the main reason I started doing this. I was considering like Grubhub also or Uber Eats and Favor and Postmates. Um, but I've seen a lot of restaurants here in Austin that do DoorDash. So like yesterday I went to Torchy's Tacos and they have like shelving set up for their door, like the DoorDash drivers that come in and like the food's already ready and it's just sitting there um, waiting for the people to pick them up. So like I've seen a lot of restaurants do that and it like says on the door, like we now deliver with DoorDash or Grubhub or whatever. So I think I've seen more DoorDash than anything. So that's why I was considering, like I considered this one more than others. I will link Emily's video down below if you guys want a little bit more information because she does go really in depth um, about how much money she makes and that kind of thing. So yeah, I will let you guys know. I'm still waiting for an order. It's 11.49, so I've been here for almost 20 minutes. Um, but you know, that's, that's just what comes with these kinds of things. Like Uber, whether it's a rideshare company or like a food delivery company, you're kind of just sitting in a parking lot waiting for an order to come in. So. Um, I don't really mind. Okay, you guys, so I just finished my first, I guess it was technically my first two dashes. Um, I just got lucky because somebody had ordered Wingstop in an apartment complex, and then like 10 seconds after I confirmed that order, I got another Wingstop order in the same complex. So they were like a couple buildings away from each other. Um, and I guess I just got kind of lucky with that one. But, you know, I was like hyping it up to be all scary and whatnot, but it really wasn't. Um, I'm like sweating. <laughs> um, I don't want to use my AC because I feel like it's going to interfere with recording. Um, so I'm just going to sweat. <laughs> I also don't know how to get out of here. Um, but yeah, it was really easy. The girl at Wingstop was super, super sweet. She was really helpful. Um, I told her that it was my first time doing this and she was like, don't sweat it. You'll be fine. Um, I'm going to turn on my AC, whatever, dude. I'm so sweating so sweating I'm so sweaty um, so um, oh little puppy so yeah I'm going back to like what it's called a hot spot um, which is like where other people would just like hang out and wait for orders so yeah the, like I said the girl at Wingstop was really helpful she was like just letting you know um, we put all of the utensils and everything in there for you but not everybody's gonna do that for you, just FYI. So a lot of the times you're gonna have to put forks and knives and napkins in there yourself. But um, she did that all for me. And she was like, it's not all you like, you like hype it up in your head. It's not that scary, I promise. Like you'll be okay. Um, just make sure you check each order, you have all their drinks. She like labeled everything for me. She was like, so here's drinks, here's drinks, like the, the names of the people. Um, I'm probably gonna blur that out, but she like labeled their names on their food and everything and it was super super nice of her um, so Yeah, I just technically completed my first two dashes and It was super easy. So I'm on my way back to like closer into town um, Because they're kind of like on the outskirts between Austin and kind of like Buda so I'm gonna head back into like South Central Austin and just wait for more orders so oh my god look at me i'm so red <laughs> so far off those two orders i made almost 12 bucks if i'll look into it if i'm not allowed to insert that in then i'll take it out you know whatever but if i'm allowed to keep it in then just letting you guys know i made almost 12 bucks off of two orders luckily they were right next to each other so just heading back into town and i'll let you guys know um also i didn't i didn't I wanted to record on my way to Wingstop and on my way to their apartments, but I was kind of scared that like, cause my camera looks kind of shaky right now. And I know I hate watching those kinds of videos. Um, so I feel like a lot of other people do too, because they make me like motion sick. So, um, if you guys don't like me doing this and you don't like me like driving and you'd rather me sit still, then I'll do that instead. I'll check back in with you guys at the end of my shift. Um, 
and let you guys know how much I've made because I'm supposed to be driving from 11.30 to 2. So um, I'll let you guys know how much I've made at the end of this shift. Hey guys, so my shift is officially over. It's almost like four o'clock and my shift ended at two. Um, I just went to lunch. So I didn't record like right after my shift ended, but um, I'm also in a really busy parking lot right now. So the chances of somebody like staring at me and seeing me record are pretty high. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, let's, let's see, I did two orders in, when I first started, and they were both in the same apartment complex, and they were the Wingstop orders, um, and then I did one for a girl who wanted Panda Express, um, and then I did a grocery order, which I didn't even know people could do that on DoorDash, which is pretty cool, so, um, it was at Walmart, so the way that works is, uh, the person does the pickup for Walmart or Target or H-E-B or wherever. Um, and all I have to do is go, like they're already ready. I don't have to shop for them, which I kind of, I was like, that's kind of weird. I have to like go shop for somebody else, but that's not the case. So they're already ready. They just put it in my car and then I just take it to their house and drop it off. So I did one of those. And then my very last one was for a restaurant called BJ's Brew House. Um, so I did five deliveries today, and I made pretty decent money. It's pr also because I was driving during, um, like, lunchtime. So it, for Uber, it's called a surge, meaning there's a lot of, like, traffic going on. Like, a lot of people are ordering whatever. So that means I'm going to get paid more because I'm, dr I'm driving and I'm delivering during um, a higher volume of car of orders coming in. So um, I got six additional dollars per hour and I drove for two and a half hours so they just bumped it up to like saying I would have driven for three hours um, so just for driving during that busy time I got 18 extra dollars um, because I live in a bigger city and there's more people here there's a lot more deliveries to be made so um, total I made Including because this one girl who had Panda Express gave me a seven dollar cash tip. So total I made fifty eight dollars and fifty eight cents Which I think is pretty good for my first day. Um, I only drove for two and a half hours So yeah, I mean, I think it was pretty good um, I might drive later on today to see just to see if I can make some more cash I'm really not gonna do anything until Matthew gets off work. So I might just drive around for a couple more hours and see if anybody um, wants a delivery and whatnot so hey guys so I thought I was done driving for the day and I just decided to pick up one more shift it was only like an hour long um, but in that hour I made about 26 27 dollars um, I got 12 extra dollars again just like last time just for driving um, just because DoorDash is having like a little special deal going on um, these last couple today's the last day actually and if you drive in certain areas you get extra cash for driving in those areas um, and I'm holding my phone because if it were to be sitting the Sun is like right behind me and I would look like that so sorry I'm like kind of shaky and stuff um, but yeah so today I made seventy eight dollars and thirty three cents which isn't bad and I put in gas and I spent t exactly twenty five dollars on gas so um, you know, not too bad. I made a little over 50 bucks. Um, so yeah, and I really like this and I'm going to do it again tomorrow and for the next couple days, just see how it goes. Um, and like I said, I'm just using this for like gas money and little things like that. So I don't have to keep dipping into my savings, um, until my other job starts to take off and I start to make money from that. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. If you do, just leave it in the comments. If you like these like vlog style um, just me sitting in my car type of videos, then just let me know or give this video a thumbs up. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more from me and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.